Hi, Veronica here, and I'm making a video for anyone out there who's interested in becoming a life coach. I've gotten so many emails through the years on this very topic. University of Santa Monica, a graduate program in spiritual psychology. It is the most powerful program, and it's not Santa Monica College. That's a totally separate school. It's called University of Santa Monica, and it is a transformational program. And I didn't take it to become a life coach. I took it because I wanted to grow and evolve and find out who I was, and I was just in love with the whole program immediately as soon as I discovered it. And it's funny, the school has no advertising because the students do it for them. It's like so powerful, We're, like every student is just a walking example of what's possible. Totally transformational program, and um, I didn't expect to talk this much about it, but they have online programs and such. So I don't know how what to suggest to you in terms of your education, but I do suggest having a very solid foundation um, in regards to, you know, what your practice is in your life because you can only take your clients as far as you have gone. So if you're not doing your inner work and you're just on the surface like saying affirmations, that's like a house of cards, you know, it's eventually gonna fall. So there's got to be a rootedness. There's got to be a way of working through the shadow. There's got to be an ability, even though life coaches aren't technically there to do the emotional work, the reality is the emotional stuff comes up. When somebody's wanting to move forward on their dreams and transform their lives, guess what? The, the space between where they are and where they want to be is a gaping hole of emotion, typically, and mental constructs and belief systems that are not serving. So you have to know how to manage that terrain on your own it's so important uh, because the you know again the further you go within yourself the bigger you can uh, support someone out there the certifications out there are like a, you can get them so easily so that's what i'm saying like to be a really solid facilitator and coach it's not about the certification because it doesn't really teach you much what will teach you is life experience. So if you've overcome things in your life, you'd make a great life coach because then you can support people by the way you walk, not just by the way you talk. And that's my biggest, and that's in any field, you know, but that's what I, I highly suggest is just keep growing and evolving. And if you feel like you're at this place where people, like you are really rooted and, and just wise and people keep coming to you for advice and to hold space for them but you're tired of doing it because you don't have the bandwidth and you're financially you know suffering um, I would say make a business out of it <music> accepting money in exchange for this gift that you probably have never thought about monetizing and typically those things that are are greatest gifts so many people don't um, charge for them and yes service is important and to be generous and to give but it's also really important to receive and the bottom line is if you can't buy groceries and you can't you know sustain yourself then it's probably a good thing to check out your life and see are you doing 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 for somebody else and other people all the time yet you're suffering and if that's the case there's a definite opportunity to harmonize your ability to give and receive because that is the law of abundance is the more you can receive the more you can give and the more you give from the overflow the more harmonic your relations are professionally you know personally and all that I charge friends and family as well um, and I had to learn this the hard way but at some point um, I noticed that I was exhausted by my work, plus having to support family and friends who were always coming to me and, and definitely not paying me. So I finally came to a place of very clear and clean boundaries. I asked myself what I needed, and the truth was I didn't want to be doing those things. It didn't feel balanced for me to be giving so much without receiving. So I finally said to my friends and family, look, if you want my support, then guess what? <laughs> I'm going to give you a huge discount on my services. And and so I do a, fa a friends and family rate um, and it's like, you know, it's a lot less than what I normally charge. So, but it is important to have that exchange because if somebody is just sucking you dry and sucking your energy, that's not a balanced relationship. It is so 
important when you're supporting another person to support yourself and be good to yourself and coach yourself and love yourself. And, you know, you're going to come across people who are not nice and who are not, um, who are going through their own crap and they're going to project all over you and it happens. When you take care of yourself and you know what you need to do in order to have a thriving business so that you can offer your services because the truth is if you're not well and you're impoverished and you're you know at the freaking mercy of everyone else then you're not solid and you're not rooted and it's going to be really hard to support another person. So um, what I have found is Oh man, just being kind to yourself and forgiving and just know and always check your intentions of why are you doing this work? Where are you coming from when you make certain decisions? And is it for um, coming from a pure place or a greedy place or simply a healthy and balanced place? Um, this is kind of off topic, probably not your normal how to become a life coach video, <laughs> but none of my videos are normal, I guess. Um, so I'll just start with that. And if you guys have any other questions, I, I um, will do my best to answer them. And yeah, just sending you a lot of love on your journey. And I'll say, just follow your heart, you know, and make, make sure that you're in a healthy giving and receiving balance. And in regards to attracting clients, I never took the marketing approach, you know. I send out newsletters and I inform my my people on, you know, who have opted in on my website about programs I have and specials and stuff, but I don't do marketing. I've never moved that way. Um, I just share. I just keep giving and I keep giving and I make videos and I um, <clears throat> I just share. I share a lot and YouTube is a really powerful resource. Most of my clients have actually come from YouTube and that's not why I started the channel to begin with. So it's really fascinating to see that when you give from your heart without this you know, strategy but just purely giving, giving, giving because it's joyful. When I make a video, it's so much fun and it's just easy and it's joyful. So when you're coming from that place, you will be, you know, you will be supplied in response and in re it's the law of attraction. What you give, you get. So um, I would say don't get so caught up in here, even though it is important to have a plan and a clear website and to have like a system and an approach. Um, I used to have a really solid approach in the beginning in terms of how I worked with clients. Like literally, I used to have to meditate for an hour before each session just to find my center. And I was nervous at first, and this is years ago, and I remember being super nervous and all that. And I, I put so much more effort and mapped things out and really pondered each client for so long. Now I don't do that. I just sit in presence with the client and what comes up I entirely trust is... is uh, gonna you know <laughs> what's spontaneously arising in the client so long as I'm present with them and asking the right questions and guiding them appropriately it just it's powerful so um, just know that your process is probably going to unfold and flower in unique ways and it'll get so much more natural and easy and abundant but it's one step at a time so be patient with yourself and enjoy the ride and more than anything be loving and kind to yourself and have a solid self-nurturing practice because if you're nurturing others, you gotta make sure that number one is nurtured too. Okay, love you guys so much. Hope this helps. Mwah.